Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about the Kenyon Endurace CF7 ETAP road bike for the 2022 season. I think this is a very interesting offering from Kenyon because you get this beautiful combination of wireless electronic shifting paired with a basic carbon fiber frame and the fork. And uh, since Kenyon is a direct-to-consumer brand, so basically you order everything online and they get it shipped to you, they can always offer some very competitive uh, prices. So let's first answer the question, who is this bike for? So Kenyon Endurance range, as the name suggests, is all about endurance road bike. So it is a bit more relaxed geometry, long days in the saddle, and basically smooth riding. Of course, uh, this uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork will have also a few mounting points, so you can uh, do some bike packing, but generally keep in mind this is just a relaxed geometry, long days in the saddle. Retail price uh, for this bike is 2,850 British pounds, which I consider is a very good price. And uh, when we dive into the specifications, you will see why it is a very good price uh, on the current market. Total bike weight, uh, I'm guessing for some kind of size medium, small to medium, is going to be 8.62 kilograms. So you see, as I said, this is not, you know, a light bike, stiff bike climbing machine. It is, you know, a bit on the kind of heavier side, but I would say that this is a classical bike weight uh, when you are speaking about endurance road bikes. Now let's talk about the paint scheme on this bike. So you see, there's only one paint scheme to choose from, and this is this stealth paint scheme, or just a black paint scheme. I wish that Kenyon offered at least another paint scheme option, because this one is just a bit like, not so exciting. When you look at some of the other uh, Kenyon Endurance models, you can really see that they can offer some beautiful paint schemes. So this is one of the things I would definitely uh, advise Kenyon to do, just to add another paint scheme on this bike. Also, when you look at the availability of this bike, I'm guessing majority of the sales are gonna go in the size medium and large, and for the size medium, you just have to wait a little bit. In August, they are gonna be available for shipping, but if you need size large, they are already available soon for shipping from the 25th of July 2022. So this is absolutely excellent, because as you know, there is a bit of delay in bike deliveries all around the world, and also, you know, different bike manufacturers had to delay the the production of certain models. So now let's dive into the specifications of this bike and let's really see what do you get for 2850 British pounds. Uh, as always, uh, let's kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber CF level frame and also the fork is the carbon fiber CF level fork. So this uh, CF carbon fiber from Kenyon is not, you know, top of the line creme de la creme. This is their, their basic carbon fiber frames and the forks. But personally, you shouldn't be worried about it because you are getting a six years guarantee and uh, Kenyon frames on this level CF carbon fiber are just perfectly fine. I have to mention here that this carbon fiber frame and the fork, of course, internal cable routing, it is a press fit bottom bracket, uh, 12 millimeter through axles front and the back, and you will also have a flat mount disc brakes uh, front and the back. Now let's talk about the drivetrain on this bike, which is definitely one of the highlights and secret sources of this bike. Uh, so you see the drivetrain is a SRAM rival ETAP group set. So shifters, front mech and rear mech, this is a wireless 12 speed electronic group set. Absolutely superb group set, uh, you will have no problems in using it. And this is why this bike has a bit of a secret sauce where you get this beautiful electronic shifting, wireless shifting on a kind of a basic level carbon fiber frame and the fork. So as I said, the front mech, rear mech and the shifters, everything is SRAM ETAP wireless 12 speed uh, group set. When it comes to the cassette on this bike, you will get the SRAM's rival XG 1250 cassette. This is of course a 12 speed cassette 
and this is a 1036 cassette, so you have a huge range on the cassette. I will just mention here that this cassette is a beautiful piece of work from SRAM, but always keep in mind that when you have to replace it, it's a bit of a pricey item, because currently the price is 132 euros, or you know, a similar price in US dollars. So just always keep that in mind that SRAM rival cassettes are very pricey. Crankset on the bike, you will get a SRAM rival crankset. Uh, in this case, the crankset is gonna be the 46, is it 4632? Yes, 4632 crankset. So paired with the huge range on the cassette, I mean, you definitely won't have any problems in climbing any steep mountains with this bike. The bottom bracket, of course, is from SRAM. Their SRAM uh, press fit dub standard. I mean, I've heard some stories that uh, it's not so, you know, reliable like the Shimano's press fit bottom brackets. Maybe you will develop some creaking noises, but uh, you can't avoid it because the crankset is the SRAM rival dub crankset, so that's why they use their own, you know, uh, SRAM dub press fit bottom bracket standard. Chain on the bike, uh, you will get the SRAM rival 12 speed chain, perfectly fine chain, no problems here. And also, I advise you in the future when you need to replace the chain, uh, just stick with any SRAM chain, you can go even up in the level of the SRAM chains, but uh, perfectly, this is going to be perfectly fine as long as you, you know, keep the SRAM chain for the compatibility with the SRAM cassette and the SRAM chain rings. Now let's talk about the braking system on the bike. So you are getting again a superb hydraulic disc brakes from SRAM, this is a SRAM rival hydraulic disc brakes, uh, paceline rotors uh, front and the back, and I'm expecting these are 160mm braking rotors, uh, they didn't give it here in the specifications, but this is something you can double check, and as always, um, I would suggest you always to stick with 160mm braking rotors, just because the heat dissipation is so much better than, you know, using 140 millimeter rotors, braking power is so much better, and also, again, uh, in the future, you can use some other, you know, braking rotors from other manufacturers, but probably because of the compatibility with the pads and everything, you can always keep the SRAM paceline rotors and buy new ones when you destroy these ones. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike. This is a very interesting wheel set from DT Swiss. DT Swiss Endurance LN uh, wheel set. You know I'm a huge fan of DT Swiss wheels just because they do excellent job, but this DT Swiss Endurance LN, you basically can't buy it directly from DT Swiss. I'm guessing this is some kind of OEM production, original equipment manufacturer, so directly for Kenyon. But this wheel set is definitely based on the DT Swiss E1800 spline uh, wheel set. So briefly, I'm expecting this wheel set to be uh, around uh, 1800 grams. This is of course an aluminium uh, wheel set, so aluminium rims. Um, it should be tubeless ready, but you will probably need to <coughs> provide your own tubeless tape and the tubeless valves. And I will just mention here that the rim height is uh, 30 millimeters and the internal uh, rim width will probably be somewhere on the round of like 20 21 millimeters and the hubs on this wheel set i will expect them to be dt swiss uh, 370 hubs i mean superb hubs i have no complaints here and of course the dt swiss uh, uh, aero spokes are going to be included on this uh, wheel set i wish that kenyon has given a bit more data about this dt swiss endurance ln wheel set so this is something you can check with the kenyon's customer customer service to give you a bit more data, but again, just expect around 1800 grams aluminium wheel set based on DT Swiss uh, 370 hubs. So in my book, perfectly fine, no problems here, it's going to serve you very well. Uh, this wheel set also comes with Schwalbe 1 30mm tires, this is so great that Kenyon has included 30mm tires, so much air volume, such a smooth ride, and when it comes to tires in the future, I would definitely keep, you know, 30mm tires, or I would even go higher to 32mm tires, just because, again, the more air volume you have, the ride is so much more smoother, and of course, this is what you want from this endurance road bike. Now let's talk about some smaller pieces uh, on the cockpit. So handlebar and the stem. Uh, both pieces, handlebar and the stem, are aluminium pieces, and you are getting the Kenyon's uh, ergo bar when it comes to handlebar, a bit, bit more ergonomically optimized, and the Kenyon V13 aluminium stem. 
I am so glad that they have included separate pieces for the handlebar and the stem, just because it's easy to replace, there is no proprietary parts here, you can easily adjust your position on the bike and uh, I have no problems with aluminum pieces. If you really want in the future you can always upgrade with some kind of carbon fiber pieces, but personally, personally I just wouldn't bother with that. As it is aluminum, perfectly fine. When it comes to the saddle and the seat post, the saddle is from Physique, Physique Argo Tempo R5, perfectly fine seat post, uh, should make you no problems, but in case you have your other preferred saddle, please do use it and just fit it on this bike. Um, also, seat post on this bike, you will get a carbon fiber, a VCLS carbon fiber famous seat post from Canyon. Superb seat post is going to soak up so much of the road bumps, and again, this is what you want from this endurance road bike. So these are the main components of the bike, and as I said, when you think about the retail price of 2850 British pounds, I think it's an excellent price for this bike. And I would say it like this, if you are in the market for an endurance road bike and you want to try some electronic uh, wireless shifting, uh, you should definitely consider this Canyon Endurace CF7 ETEP bike because the retail price of 2850 British pounds is a very very good price. So definitely I would recommend you strongly to consider this bike as your endurance road bike with electronic uh, wireless uh, group set. So I think this is going to be it for today. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please do keep on watching, give a like to this video, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!